Good morning. Jason Hefner from the Medicine Shop on Osborne joins us now to answer some of the most common questions and address the misconceptions surrounding a shingles vaccination. Good morning. Good morning. So first of all, what exactly is shingles? Uh, well, shingles actually is uh, uh, caused by the same virus that causes chicken pox uh, for most of us when we're younger. It's called varicella zoster virus. Um, when your chicken pox heal, actually the, the virus doesn't entirely leave the body. It goes into sort of a dormant state within the body. The immune system keeps it suppressed for, uh, you know, many years and uh, and oftentimes as we get older um, our, our immune systems aren't able to sort of suppress the virus as much it, it reactivates and that's what causes shingles and shingles essentially is a uh, sort of a uh, typically a, a sort of an angry red uh, blistering um, um, rash uh, and there's a lot of burning sensation that goes along with it um, people describe really burning tingling prickling sensation at the site of the rash yikes so who's most at risk for getting shingles most at risk are uh, um, anyone over the age of 50 um, typically and, and at 60 is when the when the incidence really starts to increase about one in three to one in four Canadians at some point in their life will be affected by shingles um, and, and there's other groups where uh, you know, they're immunocompromised, say certain medications or chemotherapy that, uh, that sort of suppresses the immune system can, uh, can bring about shingles even in younger patients too. If you get shingles once, are you likely to get it again and again? It's possible to get it more than once, okay. yes. So, uh, so some people, there's a common misconception that once you've had shingles, that's it, you won't have it again. But you know, we do have clients who've, who've had it a number of times, so it's important to, uh, to, uh, to uh, you know, be on the lookout for those symptoms again if, if you experience them. Let's talk about the vaccine. It's been out for about seven, eight years. Yes. And the most recent guidelines recommend anybody 60 up get it. The recent Canadian immunization guidelines, yes, they do recommend that, that all Canadians over the age of 60 do receive the, uh, the vaccine. There's, there's a very few instances um, where people uh, maybe wouldn't be appropriate for it in certain immune compromised patients. And, and we have sort of questionnaires that we go through to make sure that we're, you know, we're not going to administer it to anyone who is not appropriate for. Right. Yeah. And you can actually administer it right at the medicine shop in Osborne. Yeah, the one thing about shingles vaccine is it's a frozen vaccine. So once it's out of the freezer, you really only have about 30 minutes to administer it before it goes bad. So it, it sets up well to be administered in the pharmacy because we have it on site frozen. We take it out of the take it out of the fridge. We have a nurse on site to administer it. So within about five minutes, we can uh, we can have it administered. And, and, and that's the safest way to do it. And at this point, it is a one time vaccination, but there could potentially be a booster. Yeah, I mean, for the, the people who have been studied since they first had it about seven eight years ago there seems to be no loss of, of the immune um, um, or the uh, their immunity to uh, the shingles vaccine so uh, uh, we don't think that there's going to be a, a booster necessary but you know 10 20 years from now there we may find that it's necessary at, at this point it's a single shot though one time so what might be some warning signs or where do you go if you think you may have shingles if you think you may have shingles so typically if you notice that sort of a rash and it's usually only on one side of the body not both sides oh. um, burning sensation prickling sensation you want to go to the doctor don't come to me at the pharmacy. <laughs> okay. The vaccine is no good to you at that point. You need anti you need an antiviral medication prescribed by the doctor, and you have about a 72-hour window from when the symptoms first uh, show up to get treatment. So it's 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 oh. it's very time sensitive, and you want to get treated as soon as possible. What happens if you don't get in those 72 hours? Um, if you don't, I mean, the, the the antiviral medications won't be effective. The the virus will run its course. Um, oh. And one of the complications of shingles is called postherpetic neuralgia, which is a um, sort of a, a very painful syndrome of sort of nerve. Pain, burning pain that can last for months and months up to years after. So, uh, so that that's sort of the, the biggest uh, problem with shingles, and you want to get treatment as soon as possible to reduce that risk. Get treatment as soon as possible and get the vaccination. And you can visit Jason at the medicine shop on Osborne. We have all the information up on breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you. Thank you. So we're taking a quick break here on BT. Stay with us.